Baby, be in love with your fantasies. I can be a star, make a sky so bright. Welcome to my dungeon. This is ecstasy. Let me play the fantasy. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And we back like we never left. Yeah, we are back like we never left with another reaction that we're going to be jumping and diving right into. Now, when George Carlin said you have no rights, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what he meant by that. Oh, you about to I see. really want to know what he mean by that <laughs> when he said you have no rights because, I hey, there's a consensus out there that a lot of people will tell you that, too. Yeah, but it depends to a degree. on what context is being used in. <laughs> hey. What context is being used in, but... You I'm know, using it in the context as far as what, what George politically yeah. and socially. Yeah. Well, we're about to see. You know okay. what I mean? Because I've seen this one. You've not ever watched this. Okay. Yeah. So I want to be Jay to check this out also, y'all. Because okay. there were a lot of comments in here saying that, that you needed to check it out also. So okay. I'm glad that uh, we're about to be able to do that. Finally. I'll be doggone. They say I don't have no rights. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Make sure y'all like, just comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. And let's go ahead and tap into this video. All right, let's check out the GOAT. their fingers and say you know they make a promise and then behind their back they got their fingers crossed mm -hmm. in a way like almost like okay yeah i'm gonna go with it right now but for real i'm really not gonna tell the truth but it's almost like what he's saying even with like, it backwards missing pages you can't read it you can't understand it. like what purpose is this right <laughs> what is it gonna I can, do i can have my, my left hand on it and <laughs> Have my hand behind my back. Because I can guarantee you this don't stop lies in the courtroom. I'm just saying. It never has. <laughs> because, because if it stopped lies, they, they would never have anything called perjury. Right. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> 
Right. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Swearing on the Bible is just one more way of controlling people and keeping them in line, and it's one more thing that holds us back as a species. Here's one more item for you, the last in our civics book, rights. Boy, everyone in this country is always running around yammering about their fucking rights. I have a right. You have no right. We have a right. They don't have a right. Folks, I hate to spoil your fun, but there's no such thing as rights, okay? They're imaginary. We made them up, like the boogeyman. <laughs> the three little pigs, Pinocchio, Mother Goose, shit like that. <laughs> rights are an idea. They're just imaginary. They're a cute idea. Cute. But that's all cute and fictional. But if you think you do have rights, let me ask you this. Where do they come from? People say, well, they come from God. They're God-given rights. Oh, fuck, here we go again. <laughs> here we go again. The God excuse. The last refuge of a man with no answers and no argument, it came from God. Anything we can't describe must have come from God. Personally, folks, I believe that if your rights came from God, he would have given you the right to some food every day, and he would have given you the right to a roof over your head. God would have been looking out for you. God would have been looking out for you. You know that? He wouldn't have been worried about making sure you have a gun so you could get drunk on Sunday night and kill your girlfriend's parents. <laughs> but let's say it's true. Let's say God right. gave us these rights. Why would he give us a certain number of rights? The Bill of Rights in this country has 10 stipulations, okay? 10 rights. Okay. And apparently God was doing sloppy work that week because we've had to amend the Bill of Rights an additional 17 times. Did we really have to? <laughs> Did we really have to amend? They probably need to build rights over and over again so they can add more stuff to it <laughs> or take some stuff away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, but he has a point, 17 though. 17 times, though? Right. Wow. He has a point, though. That means they had to go back 17 times and revise it. Change it, reword it. Oh, no, no, no. That's getting too good. That, those rights are getting a little <laughs> too good. We're going to take those off. These aren't we'll... that clear. <laughs> Let's make them more clear, okay? True. Or, or if they are clear, they're going to make them a little more vague. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Wow because we've had to amend the Bill of Rights an additional 17 times. So God forgot a couple of things, like slavery. <laughs> Just fucking slipped his mind. <laughs> but let's say, let's say God gave us the original 10. He gave the British 13. The British Bill of Rights has 13 stipulations. The Germans have 29. The Belgians have 25, the Swedish have only six, and some people in the world have no rights at all. What kind of a fucking goddamn God-given deal is that? Ooh. No rights at all? Why would God give different people in different countries different numbers of different rights? Boredom? <laughs> Amusement? Bad arithmetic? Do we find out at long last, after all this time, that God is weak in math skills? Doesn't sound like divine planning to me. Sounds more like human planning. Sounds more like one group trying to control another group. In other words, business as usual mm. in America. Now, if you think you do have rights, one last assignment for you. Next time you're at the computer, get on the internet, go to Wikipedia. When you get to Wikipedia, in the search field for Wikipedia, I want you to type in Japanese Americans 1942, and you'll find out all about your precious fucking rights, okay? All right. You know about it. You know about it. Did, did you do that?
As you had watched this video for the first time? No, I, I, I was about to reach over here and I'm just like, let me pull this up. Why he talking about? <laughs> And he said, Japan, 1942. Japanese Americans, 1942. 1942. Okay. Just pull it up, and then when we get done, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at it and see what he's saying. <laughs> okay. Because I th I think George Carlin, he he really trying to take us there with this one right here. All right, you know about it. You know about it. Yeah. In 1942, there were 110,000. Japanese American citizens and good standing law abiding people who were thrown into internment camps simply because their parents were born in the wrong country. That's all they did wrong. They had no right to a lawyer, no right to a fair trial, no right to a jury of their peers, no right to due process of any kind. The only right they had, right this way, <laughs> into the internment camps. Mm. Just when these American citizens needed their rights the most, their government took them away. And rights aren't rights if someone can take them away. They're privileges. That's all we've ever had in this country is a bill of temporary privileges. Ooh. And if you read the news even badly, you know that every year the list gets shorter and shorter and shorter. You see how soon it is? Yeah. Sooner or later, the people in this country are going to realize the government does not give a fuck about them. Government doesn't care about you or your children or your rights or your welfare or your safety. It simply doesn't give a fuck about you. It's interested in its own power. That's the only thing, keeping it and expanding it wherever possible. Personally, when it comes to rights, I think one of two things is true. I think either we have unlimited rights or we have no rights at all. Personally, I lean toward unlimited rights. I feel, for instance, I have the right to do anything I please. But if I do something you don't like, I think you have the right to kill me. <laughs> so where are you going to find a fairer fucking deal than that? Mm. So the next time some asshole says to you, I have a right to my opinion, you say, oh yeah? Well, I have a right to my opinion, and my opinion is you have no right to your opinion. <laughs> then shoot the fuck and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> That's that, okay? Whoa. <laughs> I like how he really, really put a, uh, put like the light, put the spotlight when he talks about like you have no rights and really kind of breaks that down. Especially yeah. when he talks about like Privileges. the Bill of Rights. And, and, and it does seem like that. If you have rights, then you should be, you should have actual rights. But sometimes it feels like it's a privilege mm -hmm. rather than it being a right. And then, and then just to kind of couple that and to add on to that, it's like you have other humans telling what other humans can do. Right. So it's not really necessarily given from, from God above. It's <laughs> actually other people opinions of what they think that you should be able to do. What you sh what, yeah, your, your rights mm -hmm. in terms of privileges, what right. your, your actual privileges are versus your actual rights. Right. And, and then a lot of that stuff has to do with like the ideology of like the type of government that you're under too. Mm -hmm. So I like how George Carlin, shout out to George Carlin, the goat for this one too, because I like how he really, really broke that down regarding like <laughs> going to court and having to put your hand on the Bible <laughs> and people still get on the stand and I lie. Was what I, said. I forgot he was going to even say that. I wouldn't have said it, but I was just saying, I'm just like, that's not going to stop anybody from doing anything because they still going to lie. It never has. <laughs> like I said, there's a multitude of people that we could probably bring up that, that, yeah. that were guilty of perjury. Like I'm not going to put nobody's name out there because that's not my job. That's somebody <laughs> else's job to do. But like, like, but George Carlin, he is spot on um, with this particular stand up too. When he talks about like you have no rights and, and kind of really like diving into that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, the internment. Yeah, the internment of Japanese Americans. So this is of the 127. So basically, what he was explaining, it, it looked like that people were Japanese descent. We're here in America. We're possibly. here in America. This was actually during the presidency of Franklin D. Roosevelt. Okay. Um, of the 127, ja 27,000 Japanese Americans who were living in the uh, continental U.S. at the time of Pearl Harbor attack, 112,000 resided on the West Coast. About 80,000 were second generation American born Japanese with U.S. citizenship. The rest were immigrants born in Japan who were ineligible for U.S. citizenship under U.S. law. 
uh, it says the, the Japanese Americans were placed in concentration camps based on local population concentrations and regional politics. More than 112 Japanese Americans who were living on the West Coast were incarcerated in camps which were located in its interior in Hawaii. Dang. What so Pearl heck? Harbor, so somewhere over there, close to Pearl Harbor. Yeah, where more than 150,000 Japanese Americans comprise over one third of the territory's population. Only 1,200 to 18 were incarcerated. Okay. So yeah, you, so so if anything, you got to do some like some research and kind of look into exactly what the internment of Japanese Americans were. Oh, he did that because of the attack, the, right. the Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor. So mm -hmm. basically, anybody that was here that was Japanese, Japanese or, or Japanese descent. Yeah, uh -huh. he basically rounded them all up and put them in a in a in a camp. Yeah, in Hawaii. Oh, that's messed up. Yeah, as soon as you started saying that about Japanese and and, and Roosevelt, yeah, that, that was when he was in office. And then when you said Hawaii. And Japanese, right. you know, Japanese bomb Pearl Harbor. I was like, put two and two together, but yeah. that, but that's interesting too. And yeah. and if anybody's watching this video too, check that out too. The internment of Japanese Americans, and that'll give you a breakdown regarding rights versus privileges and things like that, or people taking your rights away when they've given them to you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Wow, this yeah, is, this is great. I'm that's deep. Reading something. Okay, let me stop reading. Yeah, okay, let's stop do. looking at this. Okay. <laughs> Okay, y'all, but y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section. For sure. Um, and if y'all enjoyed it, make sure y'all give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. We're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Peace. <laughs>